Okay, we are leaving Branson Landing and we are going to go ahead and drive up Highway 76. We're going to take 76 up to the strip to Highway 265. Now if you watched five minutes or more, well you'd have to watch at least eight minutes of my video on Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, it wasn't very flattering. However, I want you to compare the strip at the Lake of the Ozarks to the strip at Branson. And I think you'll see why I gave Lake of the Ozarks such a low score. This one has always had uh, a lot of attractions, a lot of restaurants, a lot of things to do, a lot of shopping. Uh, and it's been like this for Seems like forever. So you just, if you've never been to Branson, then uh, this will give you a taste of what it has to offer. And it still has bad traffic, and Highway 76 is a road that you really want to try to avoid. I 
few years back this section right here got a direct hit from a tornado and it pretty much leveled everything in this little section of Highway 76. So you see a lot of new construction and you can pretty well tell by looking at it which ones got missed. Now the Tangier outlets here, uh, unlike the formerly premium outlet mall in Lake of the Ozarks, this one actually does have some nice shops at it. Uh, we do go there and we buy, uh, it's a good place to uh, uh, get shoes and, well it's a good place to get shoes and clothing and stuff like that. The prices are decent, the quality seems to be good and I got nothing bad to say to say about this particular mall. But you can tell when you drive down this that the actual flavor and feel of the town is a lot different than Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, Lake of the Ozarks is more of a, if you're young and dumb and uh, have a lot of hormonal issues, the, head to the lake and spend the day drinking and then after you throw up go eat some crappy overpriced food and you're going to have a great time. Uh, this is, Branson is not like that. And if this is your first time thinking about coming to Branson, uh, I have to say, don't miss Silver Dollar City. It's an amusement park, uh, but it's a very nice amusement park. It's pricey, but then everything's pricey. Uh, they sell crafts, they sell homemade uh, uh, jams and jellies and leather goods and knives, and the quality of it is excellent. Uh, now be advised, if you go in the summer, it can be god-awful hot and humid there because Silver Dollar City sits in a uh, in a little valley and it gets very little wind through it so just be advised of that and you need to get there early I see a number of these businesses like the winery back there are still uh, trying to figure out how to recover from COVID-19 and the restrictions it's put on it a lot of them are still closed it looks like a lot of the restaurants did not survive uh, being closed down for a couple of months so I imagine there will be a period of transition as businesses reformat themselves as you may have guessed from the signs here this area is the Fall Creek area this is where you turn off to go to a lot of the uh, family run uh, old-fashioned trout resorts they have everything from RV I think some of them have tent camping uh, some have hotels they're all waterfront on Lake Tanicomo which is the uh, outlet from Table Rock Lake and it's an excellent lake for trout fishing I believe Missouri I think one of the state record brown trout was caught uh, in Lake Tanicomo here on a piece of hot dog of all things so, like I may have mentioned on my Bennett Springs trip, you can forget about the Wiley trout uh, myth. Uh, any fish that's a world's record fish gets caught on a piece of hot dog. Uh, that pretty much sums up how hard they are to catch. This road is going to take us over to uh, the fish, fish hatchery and the dam and we'll go across the dam and look at the state park and the lake.